Hello and welcome to this Swift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialize with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. Well, go on then. Don't just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialize with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. 
There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia, and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain, and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb, and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. gawping at me. Basically this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run so you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Swift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Swift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. 
I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. Well, go on then. Don't just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Stephen Cousins and we are broadcasting live on Facebook and on YouTube. While we're getting everything ready, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Live YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Film My Run and also Twitter at Film My Run and the website is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time, so sit back, relax, don't forget to drop me a ride on and watch me do all the hard work. Welcome along, it's uh, 30 seconds to go to the start of the Film My Run 500, uh, 4.2 kilometres in which we climb 500 metres because we're going to put our treadmills at 12%. Hello Neil Messenger, hello Steve Milne, no technical problems today, um, yeah the equipment works, Sebastian, wow the equipment works, amazing, I know. Right, so off we go. Uh, we're just going to walk it out. We're going to um, slowly put the treadmill up to 12% over the course of this um, walk. It's not the warm up, the uh, lead in. So gradually putting the treadmill up to 12% and uh, then we'll get going. So it's a bit of a walk to the, uh, to the start line. So 
the start from the start we need to be at 12 percent but it's, it's worth just putting the treadmill up to 12 now Noble Pro is getting a little bit of a reputation for having a bit of dodgy incline. Uh, Andrew Jackson has talked to Noble Pro already. They're looking into it. Um, he has convinced them that it is misreporting incline. So, uh, oh, 485 last time. Well, that's not too bad, Jeff. Okay, get those treadmills up to 12%. dodgy operators <laughs> well like I say Andrew Jackson has talked to Noble Pro he reckons it is misreporting in client it's really warm here I imagine it is across the whole of the UK um, and I haven't put the fan on that so I'm going to have to do without the fan because I can't reach down without stopping oh I could do actually hang on Right, there we go. I've put the fan on. Doesn't take much. Uh, good morning, Clive Finneymore. Good morning, Sebastian. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Liam. Uh, Lee Riby. Good morning, Johannes Grimm. Good morning, Amy Green. Estavez. Good morning, Jackson. Andrew Jackson. Good morning, uh, Comhoy from Thailand. Good morning. So we have now started. We've crossed the start line. We are going to continue walking until we get to the arch. <laughs> I told you to shut it, Partridge. None of that. Uh, fan on windows, open tortoises, sunbathing. Oh my God. For, for a second, that didn't make sense to me. And then I realized it was Clive and, and then it did make sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Andrew Jackson says, um, uh, mine is reporting 12, uh, 20% now. It only goes to 12%. So, yeah, so basically, the Noble Pro treadmill has 20 points of incline but they don't relate to percentage but Zwift is reading it as percentage so each point you go up Zwift is reading that as a percentage point but it isn't a percentage point it's something like is it 0.6 of a percent or something Jeff worked it out didn't you Jeff Well done, Neil. Neil Messenger got to level 21 yesterday. Brilliant. Andrew Jackson. Ah, Runcline also sees the same. So it is So it is more of a Noble Pro issue than a Zwift issue then. Okay, roughly half a percentage point per level. Okay. I do like walking out this first 400 meters. It just does get my legs used to the climbing. You don't, it doesn't feel so bad then when you start running. Uh, Magnus, Te Magnus Tate says Scotland is as cold as ever. I'm sorry about that, Magnus. It's, it's, it's about 22 degrees in, in London today. Down here, it's going to be about 17 by the middle of the day. So lovely 
I mean, for us in England, you know, lovely and warm. Well, compared to what we've just been through the past couple of months, lovely and warm. I fancy quite an easy day today. Had quite a hard day yesterday. Lots of running and it wasn't wasn't the greatest day. So today is going to be a nice, easy, relaxed day. 17 degrees in Cornwall by midday, says Clive. Yeah, cool. Or warm. Cold coming this weekend? Don't say that, Jeff. Oh, no. So you all know what to do at the arch. We've got gentle jog up on your toes. Don't stop till the end. So we're off jogging. Less instructions. How rubbish. Yeah, fewer, fewer instructions today. Just get on with it. Let's get to the top. Well, not to the top. That'd be 21k to the top of Ben Top. But to the end, anyway. Well done, Jeff. 600 miles in, what, how many months? Two months, is it? So 300 miles a month. That's pretty decent. I don't think I've I've done about 450 kilometres this month. So what's that? What's that in miles? Um, well, it's not 300, is it? Because it's about a thousand kilometres, isn't it, for the two months? If it had covered. If it had covered January, I would have made it because uh, we did all those Eddie Izzard runs. Um, but last month I was a little bit la lax. This month I've been more on it. We've done the 100 miler. But um, I've definitely not. I've definitely not done 600 miles in two months. So it's lucky I didn't enter, isn't it? better today, uh, Ben, yes. So Amy is on 700 miles for the year so far. Good work, Amy. I think I'm probably about that as well. I don't know. Um, 
Skinnier. <laughs> kilometers this year. What's that in miles? so far but most of that will be the Eddie Izzard stuff <laughs> okay so now we've got the camera angles on we can see everyone else yes I could ask Siri I suppose hey Siri what it is um, 1,800 kilometers in miles. Okay, it's 1,118 miles. Oh, Sebastian says it's 1,123 miles. Oh yeah, okay, so yeah, because my I didn't say exactly what. Okay. And Ben says it's 1,118 miles. Okay. Time to step it up. That's a big chunk of that already done, isn't it? Uh, ben says, any new gossip about Garmin, Zwift or Coros? Um, no, there haven't been any Coros updates, so I don't know anything more. I'm still not able to use um, the Coros power indoors. I was hoping they would do some kind of update which would make it possible to use the Coros watch and get power indoors, uh, but nothing so far. Um, uh, news about Garmin, um, nothing, nothing really. I mean, you all know that the Phoenix 7 will be out sometime this year, but that's, it's, that's a given anyway. And uh, the Enduro watch has been released, uh, which is a watch I've been testing for a few weeks. Really like it. Um, and it's supposed to be an ultra runner's watch. The problem with it is, although the battery is unbelievable, um, massive amounts of storage and solar power, 
which means the battery lasts forever. Uh, the problem is you don't have real maps, so no topo maps. You can load a course, but you'll just be following a line and there's no actual mapping. So that's put a lot of ultra runners off. Um, so, you know, you take your pick really, you can either have really unending battery life and uh, do without detailed mapping, or you go for the Phoenix 6 or the Phoenix 7 and get the maps. The thing is, if you're running in the mountains, actually mapping isn't all that helpful because you won't get much else on the screen other than the, the route that you're running. Because um, there won't be roads or houses, maybe the odd track, so you can kind of have some idea of where you are, but not really very much different to the Enduro. Bent knows more than me. Three PP app for maps that you can load onto the Enduro. I didn't know that. What is that with um, uh, the Garmin Connect IQ software? There you go, 5, 5krunner.com. There's a link on my chat, on Facebook, on my chat. Uh, Bent has just put it up. Adding maps to the Enduro. Nice one. Thank you, Bent, for that. That's cool. I will look at that. Because mapping... Well, the, the other thing that the Enduro doesn't have is um, uh, paying by your phone, paying by your watch, so Garmin Pay, and it doesn't have music, which are two things that the Phoenix 6 does have. So as long as you can do without music and Garmin Pay, you can, by the looks of it, you can add mapping to the Enduro. So that might really be a fantastic buy. It's just for the, for the battery life. ODW oh, Maps. Yeah, do you know what though? I have used DW Map. Well, I put it on my wife's old 245, Garmin 245. It's okay. It's not great. And it's not really mapping. Again, it's, it's not topo maps, it's just a course. It's just following a course. You don't get proper maps. As far as I understand it, Bent, you tell me if I'm wrong, but it's still, it's still not mapping. Anyway, so we are halfway through the second kilometre. Still on our toes, still climbing. And uh, we've got uh, 2.6k to go. I've well, filmed my run 500. I've changed time zone today. I think it will be for the next week or so uh, before everything catches up again back at uh, Zwift HQ. Very strange because apparently um, US time zones changed last week. So why? As did the British time zones. So I don't understand why the time zones are still out. But anyway. The time zone change usually only lasts a week or two. I have no idea why. because the USA time zones had not changed. But apparently they have. According to Kim Salt, 
maybe Lam, G Lam is in the USA, maybe he can shed some light on that. Paul Haywood is getting ready for a canal run, making the most of the good weather. Yeah, cool. Nice. Yeah, well, the main servers, Bent, are located in uh, Los Angeles, in the USA. And I think they have changed time zone. I don't know. A TV guy, Australia, says... Uh, He's asking a question about double XP points. So, uh, but I'm, he hasn't finished his sentence yet. They do all add up in the background. If you're on level 21, guys, they do all add up in the background. Andrew Cutmore says, when is your next outdoor event? Uh, my next outdoor event is on Monday. I'm doing a 5K outdoors. Um, uh, it's a place called Arding Lai Showground. It's a bit, it's north of here, not as far as London. Uh, yes, TV guy, yes you will. Every time that you run the uh, Tour de Zwift, uh, sorry, Tour of Utopia, every time you run it, you'll get double XP points, doesn't matter how many times you run it. So run it as many times as you want. Yeah, so um, Ben has explained has, has copied and pasted a, an answer from the Zwift forum about the time zones, but it doesn't say when when it's likely to change back. Because we're so are we, we've started at 10:35 here today. When will it go back to 9:35 and why? So when does it go back to 9 9:35 and why does it go back to 9:35? What changes? Because if the if the UK has changed times, British summer time, and if the US has changed already, what what will trigger the servers to go back to putting this run at 935? Keep it up, everyone. We'll stop. Six point five kilometers per hour now for the next kilometer. Almost every single time that I push my buttons on my left stream deck. It shorts out now, every time. I can't press any buttons on there at all before it shorts out. The one on the right is perfectly okay, never shorts out. The one on the left always shorts out. That uh, anti-static wristband that I purchased didn't work. Yes, I used it yesterday. Pointless, didn't do anything. TV guy says, I will run as much as I can. Just got to 18. So see how far I can get during the tour. Yeah. So if you want to level up, now is the time to uh, get as many of those Tour de Watopia runs in. Uh, Clive says, swap them over and see what happens. Yeah. I've also thought about exchanging this stream deck for a different one, seeing if that works. because I thought it would be better with the new computer setup. 
because instead of plugging into a USB hub, I'm now plugged directly into the motherboard. But it actually seems to have made it worse rather than better. Right, that's 17 minutes of running to go. Does this mean the run with Eddie on Wednesday is now 4 p.m.? Question mark, exclamation mark. Yeah, I have, I'll look at another um, anti-static band, Jeff. But obviously I need one that isn't grounded because most of them have got a cable coming off them to ground you. But, um, Obviously, I can't have one with a cable. I need one that just kind of, well, I don't know how it works, but I need one that doesn't need a cable. Yeah, no, I, I was joking, really. I'm sure it'll be 3 p.m. Uh, Andrew Cutmore says, how do you clear the notifications that show up on the Zwift the companion app on the iPhone and iPad, please? You have to turn off notifications, Andrew. So go to settings on your phone, and go to notifications, scroll down to Zwift Companion App and Zwift, and turn off notifications. You can always turn them back on again when you've finished your run. Yeah, same for Victoria, uh, Amy. Same for Victoria. to go and then we've got the final main increase of pace and we'll finally get the avatars running if this is your first time watching this by the way uh, hello uh, this is the film my run 500 we put our treadmills up to 12% incline and uh, we run up and up and up until we reach 500 meters of elevation 
And that takes us 4.2 kilometres of distance. Now, not everybody will be at 12% inclined. Some people have it a, li a little bit lower. Some people's treadmills don't report the correct incline. But in general, that is the idea. Aaron Francie says, good morning, Stephen and crew. Entered my first 24 hour track race the weekend and managed to hit 100 miles. Absolutely fantastic, Aaron. I have never done um, a 24 hour track event. I imagine it would be quite mind numbing. So fantastically well done, Aaron. Great job. Sebastian says, my legs are heavy from your hunt yesterday. Yeah, I, uh, I had lots of technical problems yesterday. So I started 10 minutes behind everyone else. And I, I uh, made it my mission to hunt everyone down. So I started in about 70th place, 70, 74th place or something. And... Um, Pushed as hard as I could, and I think I finished in about 22nd place, and uh, managed to catch uh, Seb on the way. Uh, I was in zone three for much of it, so uh, obviously going against my principles, but uh, I just wanted to get get it over and done with. Uh, Jeff says, "Don't do." A 24 hour track event, it's hell. <laughs> uh, Clive Finnemore says 24 hour track event must be like 24 hours on the treadmill. Uh, and Jeff said similar but no incline. Okay, here we go now. Seven kilometers an hour. Let's step it up again. Okay, Lana Curbs on YouTube. Hello, Lana. Says, I didn't know until now that Johannes Grimm, who is in the run with us from Germany, is a professional kids triathlete from the national team in Germany, apparently. Well, there you go. So, uh, Johannes Grimm, hello. And uh, fantastic. I didn't know that either. says a guy in our village ran 100 miles around the village one mile laps in 24 hours last weekend for charity well done <laughs> Johanna says you are all professional too All of us, apart from Jeff Hartridge. Bloody amateur. <laughs> 
Jeff says I'm just superhuman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and Clive's feeling sorry for... Don't feel sorry for Jeff. He can handle it. He's a big boy. <sighs> he gives as good as he gets. Don't you worry about that, Clive. <sighs> of course we do. Of course we do. I'm not loving all of Jeff. That, that would be inappropriate. Right, look, we've only got five and a half minutes to go. Doing well, guys. Okay, three and a half kilometers done. We've got 700 meters to go in five minutes. <laughs> I think I enjoy it more when I don't have to issue instructions all the time. You guys know what you're doing. Mind you, I don't mind. If there are new people who don't know what's going on, Obviously, I'm quite happy to uh, tell people what we're supposed to be doing. Right, heart rate 146. Heart rate 146, cadence 170. Three minutes to go. Doing great, everyone. Well done. So tonight, I am leading a rookie run for the Tour of Watopia. I know you're not rookies, uh, but if you want to come and join us, that'd be great. Um, I'm hoping there will be some rookies there. Always good to have new runners. Andrew Cutmore says, any recommendations to replace my broken HR chest strap? Uh, yes, but you're not gonna like it. Um, I've got the Garmin HRM Pro. It's quite expensive. Uh, but the other one I'd recommend is the Ticker X version two. Bit cheaper and uh, just as good. So ticker X, Wahoo, the Wahoo ticker. Basically, get that or get the Garmin HRM Pro. The reason I recommend the Pro is that it's dual response, so it's Ant Plus and um, Bluetooth. I bought my wife the HRM Run 
for her birthday. And I didn't realise it's not Bluetooth because it's only Ant Plus, which is a bit annoying. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, everyone. We'll stop. See you next Thursday. Or I could also see you tonight. Oh, come on, let see. I could also see you tonight. Or tour of. Okay, let's go. That's 200 meters. Hey, haven't no, not 150 yet. I haven't got 150. Forget you can join live at midday UK time today. Oh, I've just gone over one fifty. Drew Jackson. Cheers, everyone. Dean Carter, yes. Time zone stuff going on. 10.35 it was today. Thanks everyone. Well done everyone, thank you. Uh, Steve Milne says, I just picked up a Kusbu HRM strap and plus and Bluetooth. It dropped out last night, but has been okay all other times. Okay, my heart rate definitely got moving in that last 200 there. But uh, actually, right the way until um, right the way until the last 200 meters, I was below uh, I was below 150 uh, beats per minute. So that's good. So well done, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Um, always pushes you that little bit at the end there. Um, so uh, we will see you all tonight for the rookie run. Uh, my iPhone is not connecting again to the uh, to the stream, so it's annoying. But I can't show you the the iPhone. I'll try now again and connect it, but I don't. It just doesn't seem to want to connect. Uh, Steve Milne says I should be working. <laughs> Get to work, Steve. Clive, thank you, Stephen. Uh, that's all right. No worries. Andrew Jackson, cheers everyone. Right, Jeff Partridge uh, got 914 metres. See, my guess wasn't far enough. Yeah, we need to get that looked at, Jeff, don't we? By uh, Noble Pro, I think. Because it isn't, it isn't reporting right, I don't think. Still, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to fix this iPhone thing because it's not it's not connecting properly. Look, see that should that should show you my iPhone, but it's just for some reason it won't it won't connect. Try to refresh it. it just doesn't doesn't seem to want to be there. 
tell you what I could do. Let's try and actually reconnect it from scratch. You're not interested in this, are you? I, I know I, I, I know you're not interested in this. It's not a problem. I'm sorry. I apologise. You can go if you want. It's just me fiddling about now. No, nothing. Nothing at all. Try again. One more time and then I'm going to give up on it. Come on. Just a case of keeping pulling the HDMI cable out and pushing it back in again. It doesn't want to... No. Reset. No. Right, Amy, thanks very much. Take care. Okay, that's it from me. Um, let's forget about that now. Give up on that again. Okay, this is why I, I think this is why I gave up on the um, companion app before because it it's too much hassle to constantly try and reconnect it all the time. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we will see you tonight for the rookie run. And uh, yes, oh, that's the whole point. I was going to check what time the rookie run is. I think it's six o'clock. Uh, but let me just double check. Yeah, rookie run is at six p.m. UK time tonight. Uh, so if you want to join me for that, 6 p.m. UK time for the Tour, d t uh, tour of Wetopia Rookie Run Stage 1. It's only 4.8 kilometres, so it should be nice and easy. Right, that's it. I'm going for a shower. Take care, and we'll see you tonight. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>